Hi everyone, it's David Moot here from Studio One Expert. I'd like to show you the new features in Studio One 3.2 which have to do with automation. Now, I've got a check here and let's say we want to automate its volume. Let's make use of another very cool new feature of Studio One 3.2 first. Let's hold on Alt and Shift. And now we can draw a range of our choice. Let's uh, go and then it automatically zooms in to this range we just selected. Very nice. Okay, let's hit A to switch to automation mode and select volume here. Now one of the cool new features is that we actually have a new tool available for us for drawing in automations. Now you cannot select it from the toolbar here, but instead if we draw in a range, which is also now very easily possible with the new smart tool of course, we don't need to hold on any modifiers or change tool. And as you can see, if I move the mouse somewhere here in this region, the mouse cursor automatically changes to this bracket looking tool. So let's just call it bracket tool for now. And if I press down the left mouse key, then I can move the whole area up or down without having to change tools or press any modifiers. It's as simple as that. So again, draw a range, place the mouse cursor above somewhere here and move it up or down. Now this is very, very nice and it enables you to work very quickly. Before that I always used the transform tool for that, but now it's there's just simply no need to select it. I can just draw a range if I want to make this part softer, pull it down and that's about it. Now what's cool is that it also works for several ranges. So if we hold down shift to select several ranges, like this, and now we position the mass somewhere above one of the ranges, and as you can see, we can move all of them together. Very, very nice. And it's also worth noting that we also have all the time a value display. So we can see all the time how much, uh, by how much dB we change the, the volume. This is very, very, very handy and it was not like this before. So many thanks PreSonus for uh, adding this too. Now if you already have a written automation on a track like we have now here, then you don't need to draw a range to adjust some parts. So if you already have some automation points, then you just have to move, uh, move the mouse between them. And then also you get this bracket tool and can modify uh, the curves like that. So you only need to draw a range if there are no automation points here to where you want to make a change. Otherwise it moves, out, uh, it works out of the box. Now if you like working with the transform tool, there's also a new nice shortcut for it. If we draw now a range like this and we hit Alt and T, then this range, as you can see, uh, gets transformed uh, to the transform tool. So and we can do everything with it, which you can do with the transform tool. It's also a very nice shortcut. Okay, so this was uh, the two new tools as for creating automations. Now let me show you something else which is new. We now have a new entry in the options, or preferences, if you are on a Mac, under Advanced, Automation. You can see it here. Automatically create automation tracks for channels. Now what are channels? Channels are everything which you can see in the mixer. So these are buses, VCA faders, uh, FX channels, and of course the regular tracks, which you also have in the range view. Now if you check this option, then if you, let's say, let's create a bus for the first two tracks, right click, add bus for selected channels, then you can see in the arrange view, we automatically have an automation track for this bus we just created in the mixer. Now, if you like to have your buses, VCA faders, etc., on the position where you created them, then you should go to these options here and deselect all these options like keep bus channels to the right, keep VCA channels to the right, keep FX channels to the right, if you want to have them on the place where you created them. So in this case, you should deselect them all. And then you can say, okay, I want to have, let's say two VCA channels for these two tracks. And then as you can see in the arrangement and also in the mixer, we will have it next to these two tracks. Now, as you can hopefully see, this new feature actually has much more power than just, you know, enable us to save some time when creating automations. If you have this selected, 
then actually for the first time ever in Studio One, you can have now a perfect parity between the arrangement view and the mixer. So I can grab this bus and move it around and it will always stay the same in the range view and in the mixer as well. Same with this VCA channel. And if we had an effects channel in the mixer, same with it as well. We can now move it around. Everything stays in sync in the arrangement and in the mixer. Now this is something that many people have requested for a long time, that we have a one-to-one -one representation of the arrangement view in the mixer and vice versa. I am not one of these people. I think it's perfectly fine to have channels in the mixer which are not represented in the range view and vice versa. But for the people, if you're one of them who like to work like this, that the number of the channels is exactly the same in the mixer as the number of the tracks in the range view, then again, this is the key for it. In the options under advanced, automation, automatically create automation tracks for channels. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Many thanks for watching. I've been David. Bye-bye.